Welcome back everyone. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at the uh, All Pro Football 2K8 editor. All right, let's open this file. I thought I had saved that one over, but I guess I didn't. So, um, to fix the hunchback piece, what we'll do is we'll do an export. Take the whole team. All teams, we'll dump it right to the desktop here. But this one we can just open up in a text file. And the value we want to look for, like here, Troy Aikman 1. Most players will be um, Warren Moon. Let's just pick on somebody here. Take a look. Yeah, so Warren Moon, but that person for some reason has Troy Aikman, which is not a big deal. Um, so what I usually do is I extract all teams. I'll find this value, I'll copy it, I'll do a control H here for find, uh, and then I'll do a find and replace. And we want to replace that one with a zero. Replace all in the file. Save it. And then scroll down, there should be a Warren Moon one. Here it is. This is the common one. Do another find and replace for Warren Moon. Replace all. Let's um, save this file. And then do an import. And I'm going to import that file back. Yes, to overwrite. It might error, error occurred during the, the, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so everybody was updated, and I think it was the Vikings. I should have looked at it before, but let's take a look at the Vikings here. Uh, Vikings, who was it, Boyd? I remember for some reason this fella had um, the hunchback enabled, so. In any case, that's fine. Uh, that's one way you can do it uh, for the hunchback piece. And then if you want to swap players, um, let's see, let me go to Green Bay. And let's see, we Rodgers here. Yep, we got Rodgers, so I'm just gonna do a file export, export the current team, and drop that on the desktop as well. And then let's take the Rams, um, and let's just dump these guys too. So we'll export just the team, all right. All right, so we have those files. So what we'll do is we'll open up Excel and uh, we'll drag the Packers over here, drag the Rams, should open up a new one. Let's open these both up here. And let's say we wanna take, which file is this, Rams, Packers? Let's say we wanna take Rogers. So I'm just gonna cut that. What we got here, Matthew Stafford. Insert the cut cells. I'm gonna cut Stafford out. I'm gonna swap him over here. Get rid of that empty one on both. And uh, I'm just gonna copy Rams. And then for this fella, we're gonna paste this so it matches. We'll save that team. You have to do the same over here as well. Um, just make sure that the team names match. Save, and right, we'll close those out. And let's take a look in here. So right now for quarterbacks, we have Stafford. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a file import. Roster. And we want the Rams file that we just edited. Yes, to overwrite it. And I believe once it overwrites, it should drop the player, but then it should also take it to the other team, if I, don't, if I remember correctly. Because there's like a mismatch now, which is okay. Yeah, so we'll do file import for the Packers. And we'll pick the Packers file that we just edited, say yes to that. Uh, give the editor a little bit of time to crunch through that change. Updated, okay, so now we can take a look at our quarterback. Well, it's still loading. We'll take a look at our quarterback situation here, QBs. Now we have Matthew Stafford on Green Bay. If Stafford doesn't win a game this season, he's gonna share a record with Kitna. And then let's go over here to the Rams and see what we got over here for quarterbacks. So yeah, we have Rodgers. So that's one way that you can do it. Um, I think there's another way to do it within the editor, but I'm not sure. I usually uh, will extract the data and either work with it in Excel or Notepad++ or something. But I don't know. This is one way you can do it. Hopefully it works for you. I know I've done this on multiple, multiple times before on some of the 2K8 rosters. So uh, if it helps you out, great. Uh, if not, hopefully there's another way that you can do it. All right. Take care.